First, though, it's on to the sluts. Slut walking is a worldwide phenomenon that's inspired many and confused even more. Uh, in Philadelphia, people dressed up and joined slut walk for all sorts of reasons, as producer Bruce Schimmel discovered. Last spring, a top cop from Toronto told young women there not to dress like sluts if they didn't want to get raped. And so slut walking was born. Women in several cities have since dressed up like sluts and marched to protest and to ridicule the idea that a hot outfit could justify sexual violence. Here in Philadelphia, the young women in Con Park were joined by slut walkers of various ages, genders, and agendas. So tell me about what you're wearing and what you're saying. Um, well, we didn't really wear anything specific, but we just wanted to, you know, make the statement that um, that the problem isn't so much what we dress, and a lot of times people aren't dressed inappropriately when they are the victims of a crime such as rape. And so we're just sort of making that statement with our posters, saying that you know it's not so much teaching women to dress differently as teaching teaching criminals and and the perpetrators what means no. And so what what does this mean to you personally? Um, personally, I've had several friends affected by it. One friend who by no means dresses um, risque at all, and she was um, the victim of gang rape. And to see somebody like that be subjected to something like that is merely a it's a sign of that we're not educated enough. That like um, and it definitely I was just talking about it. It was a couple of high school guys, and it seemed like an initiation process. So what about you guys? <laughs> Tell me why you're here today. I'm here today to support everyone that um, has gone through anything such, like, so terrible like this. And I think it's a really good cause. Why are you here personally? I'm here personally to support my mother because you know, I, I'm glad that she asked me to come and I'm, I'm glad to be here for her. Mom, are you uh, upset with the word slut at all? Um, I haven't given that much thought, that word slut. I'm, I'm more into just being here to raise awareness of you know, the rape culture that we live in. And I think it's really cool that young women today are embracing their sexuality. When I was younger, if you wanted to be a feminist, you had to look, you couldn't really embrace your sexuality. Sexy meant you weren't a feminist. I think this is really cool that my daughter can feel sexy and love herself and still feel like a strong woman. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me about what you're wearing. Sure, so I am wearing uh, pieces of my Superman outfit. And the reason I'm chained up with kryptonite is to me that represents the idea in society right now that what a woman what a woman wears affects how people act towards her, that she's more likely to be raped. So I think if we, by doing that, now we're kind of chained up as a society. So if we can get rid of that idea, get rid of the kryptonite, you know, we can literally throw off the shackles and you know, be a better society. Tell me, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a utility kilt, proudly made in America. <laughs> a what? A utility kilt. <laughs> non bifurcated leg, leg coverings for men. <laughs> and it's, you wear it because? I wear it because it's comfortable. What do you want people to understand at the end of the day that they don't get now? That um, a lot of people are like, oh, well she was dressing like a slut, she deserves it. And it's like, no, it wasn't their fault. Like, just because, it doesn't matter how you dress, like, it wasn't their fault. You mean anyone can dress any way they want, anytime? Yeah, basically, like... Yes means yes, no means no, however we dress, wherever we go. And so the slut walkers marched to City Hall, each for a different reason, though all demanding justice. 
For Reproductive Justice Now, this is Bruce Schimmel. Up next, Karen Hunt discovers what the new Fed rules on women's health could mean for you.